their eyes are open. It's so exciting. Hi, this yellow girl. It's yellow and purple. Hi, babies. <laughs> so their eyes are just starting to open. They're sensitive to light, so we're keeping the room a little bit dark for them. There's Mr. Green Boy. You can see how now that they can see. <laughs> They're starting to get around a little bit better. Hi, huh, babies. How are you? That's Miss Ebony there. And Miss Cream Girl. <laughs> That's Yellow Girl talking right now. They're coming back over. They don't like to be separated. They still very much like to be together. Turquoise, what you doing? Hot baby girl. Miss Turquoise there and Miss Pink. Miss Pink has still got just like the smallest little facial features. I think she's going to be pretty small. Yeah. Baby, come. You going to tell me, Miss Ebony, that we just finished um, yesterday was the last day of ENS or early neurological stimulation. Uh, but I will still continue to do holding each puppy individually. Hi. <laughs> do we want mama to come back in? They're like, you woke us up and we must eat. As you can see, they aren't lacking at all. They're, especially Miss Yellow Girl. She's over two pounds now. And sometimes she looks like a little beach belt with legs. Huh. <laughs> well, come here. Come back with everybody else. Come on. There you go. Good job. You guys are getting around so good. But every day I hold each puppy individually and just give them lots of body contact and stroking so that they are very comfortable and very used to that. I've been checking to see if their ears are open yet. Not quite. That should be coming in anytime soon, so they're not startling yet to sounds. Not that I want to startle them, but I'm just checking because as soon as their ears open, then we can start working on different sounds with them and getting them conditioned for that. Hey, Myrtle, you want to come see the babies? She was just out taking a little break. Myrtle, come here. Come on, babe. Well, come on in. Good job, Mama. Hi. Yes. They want to see the babies. She is such a good mom. And she is eating four to five times her normal amount of food, plus all the extra supplements, um, which is so good, yes. So I'm always worried making sure that the moms are getting everything that they need so they can feed the babies. And we'll start supplementing the babies as soon as they're ready to give her a little bit of extra help. But right now she's happy to eat all that food. So she's able to, like, she's not getting skinny at all. Yes, that's what we like. You need to stay nice and chunky too, huh? <laughs> because, I'm, I mean, they're, they're pretty soon going to outweigh her altogether. So they're definitely um, potentially taking a lot from her, and it could run into too much if I'm not on top of it and making sure she's getting all that she can. Good job, sweetie. You're such a good mommy. Well, this will probably be the last video that we have here um, at the house right now in our welfare room because they are, I shouldn't say they are, but Myrtle is. She's ready. She's ready to move out to her nursery and have her own doggy door and be able to go in and out when she wants to. So next one will be out there, probably still in their welfare box. They won't be ready yet to have the whole nursery to themselves <laughs> and there's, see, there's many different positions and ways that you can nurse it all works and we're going to keep some nice and clean alright good job sweetie good job <laughs>